Recording. Hey, hey, welcome back to the channel, folks. Today I am on a group ride with my local club, uh, Safety Minded ATV Association. Uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of us. And uh, we're just going back, uh, back the Mercy Roads and um, just going for a nice little run. Going to have some lunch at the clubhouse afterwards. And uh, yeah, it's chilly. That's all I can say is it's, uh, it's a little bit chilly out today. And that's why they made gear. So I'm wearing two coats and uh, yeah. Mrs. Brute's home. She decided to opt out of this run today. Uh, I had one of my dogs pass away and pretty much immediately the other one started to act all wonky in the head. And uh, we took him to the vet and he's got vertigo, which is really weird. Picture yourself uh, going on a fair ride that spins real hard and your eyes are spinning back and forth and back and forth. That's what he's doing. So he's losing his balance. He's on some meds. He should be, he should be better. So get well soon, Buzzy. Buzzy Beagle Dog. All right, we're all stopped up. Getting ready like a NASCAR race. And we'll see what's going on here. All right, see, this, these are all the buggies on the run. Mitchell love this Pioneer 1000. Got a Ranger. A bunch of CF motos. There's Mike. Let's see what Mike's doing. How's it going, man? Don't forget to like and subscribe. You heard the man. Give a shout out to my brothers in YouTube. We got Scotian Off Road 506 SXS and ATV, another Scotian Off Road, and then we have ATV in Nova Scotia and recording. All right, and away we go, folks. So we've just gathered up. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine guys now. Or nine buggies. And here we go. I'm gonna go for a nice little nice little stroll. Good thing is, from the cold, we'll have the shelter of the woods over here, right? And there's a sawdust pit that everybody gets stuck into, so don't go there. Unless you got a real long winch cable. You can see this road's pretty uh, pretty worn down and ruddy. Hasn't been maintained for a bit. I was back here with my truck, just sitting by the lake having a coffee the other week, and uh, I noticed that as well. I gotta say, it's real nice to have a crew of people that uh, you can go for a ride like this. And I don't know if I've been up this trail or not, but we're gonna soon see. 
I'm going to leave a bit of distance between me and Mike. And uh, yeah, I'm going to pop it in four wheel drive. So this video today is just going to be some nice slow sight sightseeing and uh, yeah, I apologize for the beeping that the uh, that the camera is doing. It's acting up. I'm gonna soon be uh, I'm gonna soon be looking for a uh, an alternate camera other than this uh, Cena Evo camera 4K because it's starting to act up. The battery lasts. I have to have a auxiliary battery run by cable down my jacket into a battery bank. Look, there's snow up here. Somebody's boat, an old boat back there. Looks like an old camp. Isn't that something? Yes, I've not been back here, which is surprising because I've been back pretty much everywhere along the Mercy. See lots of uh, lots of snare tape around. People getting their winter rabbits. I'd love a feed a rabbit. They're tasty. Last rabbit I had, a uh, guy at work knew that I was croaking for a taste and he had some in his freezer. So he brought me in a baggie and I fried it up and it was delicious. I love wild game. I'm too much of a uh, of a pacifist to uh, to harvest it myself, but uh, like I said in prior videos, I uh, I'll eat it. I'll eat it. That's for sure. I'm one of those hypocritical carnivores. I love meat but I don't think I could I could shoot something. At least shoot something that's not shooting at me. So yeah, whenever I move my head to the left, it beeps. So I can only look right today. Got to leave a bit of room between me and Mike. I apologize there. Looks like we got snow. There's no snow by my place, but I'm about, I don't know, 10 kilometers away, so. But this is a great little trail. I can't wait to show the missus this on TV. Hey missus, you missed out today, bud. She's back home with Buzzy. He is getting better though. Man, he was uh, he was falling over like, and one of his eyes was moving independent of the other one, which is really weird. I said, so I thought he had a stroke, but uh, the vet laughed when I uh, when I said I thought he had a stroke. That was something definitely neurological. But uh, apparently older dogs get vertigo. So good news is if your dog starts, you know, stumbling around like they're drunk, like they got into your weed stash, they probably didn't. It's, uh, it's very common. The vet said that uh, that happens about once a week for, for his customers. Anyway, he's getting better now wife is just home taking care of him. Yes, this is a great little trail. I like the tight trails with the, uh, the woods on either side, real thick woods.
does look like this trail has been maintained because there's there's gravel here. Nothing worse than getting an itchy head when you're in a helmet. You gotta do the old shimmy it back and forth. Then the rest of the ride feels like you got a hat that's put on crooked. bunch up too hard. Okay, so this is Tote Road. We have been on the channel down Tote Road before. We found this Tote Road by uh, by accident. So what's happening here is the second person from the front of the line at every intersection pulls off until you see the guy at the end and then you get in front of him. That's so we, uh, so we don't lose anybody. It's a great method of, uh, of staying together. And uh, if one person's riding slower, everybody still is part of the same group because there's a tail gunner kind of guy. You're gonna see me wipe my, uh, wipe my camera a bit too. Turned on the front cam. Get a little uh, view of Mike's tail end here. He's got an Ontario. He also has a uh, he also has an awesome uh, off-road Subaru. Not sure what model it is. It's like a uh, I don't even have Forester or or this. Anyway, he's got it all done up, and uh, I'm gonna link link below to his YouTube channel and uh, get him a bit of uh, get him a bit of love for the uh, exposure too. Look at this, you can really see all the way. I don't know if I've been here before. It all ends up looking the same. Recording. Lots of down trees too. So I am going to publish this entire run. Um, it's gonna be long. There's gonna be parts where I'm talking. There's gonna be parts where I'm not talking. Um, the people that enjoy me talking, I can't talk this whole run. But the people that don't enjoy me talking, You'd be able to see the run without me talking a lot. So, yeah, I'll probably end up talking a lot anyway, because that's what I do. Because this is really more of a vlog than any channel. It's me talking about whatever the fuck I want to talk about. And uh, a lot of people from the DMs seem to enjoy that over, you know... Uh, TikTok-y type 
short little snappy videos of action, you know. I'm getting too old for that shit. So, this is fun. Splish splashing down Tote Road. What? Yeah, we found this trail when I was uh, out with my buddy Craig. Uh, he's got a CF Moto 600. We went for a rip, and I thought that thought we were gonna. I was gonna take him down Muskrat, and I ended up taking him here. See those things there? Those are uh, they're usually rabbit snares. Signs of where people have snares set. We turn my head to the left, and it fucking beeps. slowing down because I'm going to rip through this. That was fun. Wipe off the camera lenses. There we go. Good as new. Yes, we're riding down the river, boys. I need to, actually, I need to do something about uh, some sort of heated windscreen for my helmet because it really sucks. It f freezes up and gets condensation. Is that me backfiring or him? Look at this. Nice thick woods. A large part of the reason of my ATV, it's not for, it's definitely not for YouTube. YouTube is at the last of the list. It's for just getting outside, like experiencing this. Like this is, this is amazing. It's, uh, it's so close to home, yet it seems so far away, if you know what I'm saying. And I'm sure you do. It's uh, it's literally right in my backyard. Uh, we got a stop. So I'm going to turn that off. And away we go. What was chopped? Ah, oh, a tree right there. Recording. Yeah, I have to turn this helmet cam off and on um, recording just to ensure that it actually still is recording. Yeah, I really, I, I wish there were better options that had audio integrated.
Yeehaw, motherfuckers. I said it before and I said it again. This Brute Force 750 hauls ass for, uh, for being pretty much a utility bike. Um, yeah, it goes. It goes. Especially on these back roads. Man, it's hard to keep it under 100. That's kilometers. If I still had stock tires, I say this a lot, that uh, Lisa's bike, she's still got stock tires on hers. And it is, it's, it's a different, if it's, it's a different animal than, uh, than mine because my tires are heavy and apparently that matters. And apparently I didn't know that when I bought these tires, otherwise I would have sourced some probably more expensive yet lighter tires. But it is what it is. These tires still got lots of life left in them, so I'm going to fucking ride the piss out of them. And, uh, yeah. Or I could potentially, uh, because Mrs. Brute doesn't, uh, normally take full advantage of wide open throttle, I could swap these to her bike and get myself some new ones. But then again, that's cash I don't have right now. Um, I just got a new, another, actually two more two more electric guitars I just can't stop buying them but I am stopping buying them right now because I've got every little niche of electric guitar that I ever wanted oh I got a Les Paul I have a Gibson ES339 a um, bunch of acoustics I have a acoustic acoustic electric uh, with an electric guitar strat neck called a Fender Newporter I love that um I have some historical guitars. I have my grandfather's. I have my grandfather's guitar. I have my father's guitar, and they're both uh, they're both in a better place now. So, um, I picked I picked up a Hagstrom Ultra Swede, which is a uh, almost like a Les Paul. And what I just got this week was a pure white Fender Strat. Uh, with single, single, single uh, pickups. So I'll be... Uh, I think I'm going to start another YouTube channel just for music. Because what's that? Wow. Somebody hold that back here. Probably an asshole in a dump truck. Cough, cough. But yeah, so... Uh, Now I think I know where we are. We're going to follow this road and Muskrat's going to going to zip off this way. I can't not be a hooligan. If I see something I can bump over, I will. All within safety's reach though. So if anybody watching this uh, plays guitar, comment down below. To, uh, tell me what you got. Tell me what you play. What kind of music do you like? Uh, you know, tell me a little bit about yourself. Because I really am considering, I've been playing long enough and hacking at guitars long enough that I'm okay and just okay. I'm not good by any means, but I'm not bad, but I'm not good. So I am going to make a YouTube channel. Actually, it's already made. I just haven't advertised it yet. And uh, just to show my progress, I may try once a week to play the same song and see how, uh, how that progresses over time. But that's about that channel, not about this channel. So back to your regular scheduled programming. Like, look at this. Somebody's gonna get, somebody's gonna smack it. 
Yeah. Holy, oh, it is windy. You know it's bad when you get an ice cream headache inside a motorcycle helmet. It'll be nice to get back in the woods again. Nice to get back in the woods again. I may have to explore the option of uh, of contact lenses because glasses under a under a fogged up uh, shield are no fun because they fog up too. And then when I crack crack the vent open a little bit, it uh, freezes my noggin. Look at all the mountains there. It's uh, you can see that's the trail line there. The uh, I'm sorry, uh, power lines. Sorry about the uh, the blacking out of the lens. It's uh, I'm trying to keep the lens clean, and it's hard. So so that's an example of the second guy in line. You okay? The yellow guy is at the very back. I'm going to run back. You wait there, I'll run back. Ho oh, ho ho! That almost got dirty. So I'm doing a little run back to see where everybody is. There's that branch in the way.
right, so we came from that way, I think. I think we came from that way. That's me not paying attention. Yeah, this isn't it. So I am going to keep going back that way. I'm notoriously bad if there's a leader in the group of me not paying attention to where the fuck I am. So this obviously was not used this trail. It's just my tracks. There's lots of tracks here. Lots, oh, ho, ho, ho. off camber roads. I should slow down. But again, it's so hard not to, uh, not to drive fast. Yeah, I recognize this. Okay, here we go, right here. You guys all right? Yep, yep, I can take you back. Yeah, I'm... It's, it's all good. That's right. I came back looking for you guys and I went down the woods and I, I was like, I, I got to pay attention when I'm part of a group to where the hell we're going. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll be able to take you guys where we're going. That's a beauty. That's a beauty bike. <laughs> oh yeah, decent. That's right. We all ready? Get off. Okay. All right. Gathered everybody else up and we're good to go. I don't know how fast I should drive. We'll go 35. 
dense enough for some fellas and side-by-sides. God, that Maverick could outrun this thing. There's that big piece of metal again. That must have been a bridge. All right, I got lights behind me. Swampy. I'd like to go up there someday. That looks like a that looks like a trail. Do wave my arm around to show the boys the uh, the branches in the middle of the road. Jesus, it's windy up here. Yeah, it's good, Mike. Uh, recognize that people weren't behind us. I don't have rear view mirrors. He's got rear view mirrors on his bike. Under the power lines again. If you ever get lost back here, you find the power lines, you know you're somewhere. I gotta stop doing these massive jumps or somebody else will make fun of me again. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> That's not what I'm in for, brother. Here we go again. Ooh, bumpity bump bump. Cats, cats heard it. They got lost. Oh, did they? Yep. Where's the yellow one? He's with them. It's all good. We're all rounded up. I don't know. Yeah, there must have been a turn that nobody uh, planted themselves at. 
What's that? Yep. It's all good. Oh, you brought a dog. Isn't that sweet? Yep. They must be having fun. Get getting some fresh get some fresh air. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. No toys? <laughs> yeah, no choice, yeah. Yeah. Recording. Alright, now we got everybody rounded up again. We are going to proceed to catch up with the rest of the crew on Muskrat. I love this trail. It's just mucky enough. Not too rocky. There's there's a bit of rockiness to it, but uh, not enough to to make it unpalatable. Some nice uphills. Nice water holes. These are puddles. Make sure everybody's behind me. Bridges weren't wearing down the, the entrance to it. Yeah, this is deeper is deeper than it normally is. This is sketch. We've done it before though. This thing's like a tank. You just go slow enough and <laughs> all right, still somebody behind me, which is good. Yeah, I look forward to uh, doing a video edit. It's been a few weeks since I've released a video, and uh, I've just had nothing worthy of uh, worthy of releasing. Yeah. Make sure everybody's coming. Just wait for the rest of the crew. We don't need to get split up three ways. <laughs> Here we go. Here comes Mike. What's that? Yeah.
So yeah, I'm wondering where these guys are. Oh, it's a big hole. Had to go back and catch the scragglers. <laughs> Stretch the old legs. <laughs> Is it? You're right, you're right. If you hit it at speed, you'd be all right. <laughs> Cool. Nice. <laughs> I got that on camera. I got that on camera, Mike. <laughs> I got that on camera. <laughs> it's going on YouTube, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Recording. Okay, we are had a little rest, and there's everybody. Everybody, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're good. Go ahead. What's that? Yeah, I th I I think we're yeah we're I think we're going now. Oh, look at that. Look, there's a Christmas tree right there. I'll be back for you. So supposedly there's going to be a little lunch at the... Uh, a little lunch at the clubhouse too, which is gonna be nice. I gotta give these guys some space. <sighs> Tall trees. go down the hill I am gonna have to hose my bike off after this because there's muck and shit I'm just a hose and soap guy I don't use cans of $50 juice to clean my bike as long as there's no thick muck on it I don't give a shit
surprising to see where side by sides. I don't have any exposure to riding or even being around side by sides, but these guys can get back here. So not that this is a, what am I trying to say? Not that this is an insurmountable task of, uh, of driving because it's like two out of 10 technical trails, but, uh, but still. They're like little cars, but actually so are ATVs when you think about it. They got four wheels, they got gas, they got brakes, they got a suspension, and they got tires. So, suppose you could get a car back here. It would get stuck. That's for damn sure. All right. I usually blast down this trail here. See where that's gotten me. I almost ate shit coming to fetch those guys earlier. Some two bars down on gas. That should be well enough to get us home. This is a pretty sweet little trail here. Oh, there's nothing worse than getting a beard, beard hair in your mouth. Well, yeah, there is something worse, but you know what I'm talking about. Pardon me spitting, I'm just spitting this beard hair out. The tops cracked off of those birch trees. Well, I gotta say, this kind of sucks without the missus around. We're the terrible two in the woods. But she's home doing her thing, so I can't fault her. I just had to get out. And this was the perfect, this was the perfect opportunity to get out because, uh, I've been stuck inside. Stuck inside, cozy in front of the wood stove. Playing video games. Playing guitar. Ugh. So it's real nice to be a part of this group. That, uh, you know, it was just a little poke. Hey, we got to run this Saturday. You want to go? Yes, I do. And I woke up this morning feeling lazy. Uh, I don't want to go. I made myself get off, get off my ass. And uh, I'm really, really enjoying myself. I often wonder what these real thick woods are like. You know, 50, 100 feet, 200 feet back. Do they open up into clearings? I spend a lot of time on, uh, on Google Maps just looking at this area. 
Uh, there's a 3D portion of Google Maps that you can take the flat map and turn it into like a 3D that shows the elevations in a in a, a, a rendered topographical um, format. So if you take the flat Google map and turn it that way, it shows the hills and stuff. So I've done a video trying to find the highest spot in the St. Margaret's Bay area. And that's the video that I found the whippersnipper and lost my mind about that. Like, who the fuck is going to throw a whippersnipper back 30 kilometers back in the woods? Oh, it eats me up. Be nice to just a buggy, buggy back here. You could pitch a tent back there. Now, apparently some of this land back here is turning into wildlife preservation area, so... I have a feeling that that's going to put a big red X over buggies and camping. Um, I hope I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments below if I am wrong. I'd be glad for you to prove me wrong on that. But, uh, yeah, anyway. I got nothing bad or good to say about that, so I'll just stay impartial as usual. got a snotty nose for some reason. So I wonder, I've only gone 28, 28 kilometers. <coughs> Excuse me. I've ridden those, some of those pretty wide open throttle uh, going to fetch the people that were lost. But uh, I'm still two bars down on gas. I've done close to 100 kilometers on a tank, but uh, I've always found somewhere to fuel up. I always like to stay topped up on fuel. Lots of CF motos. They're the uh, they're the new brand people buy. There's a there's a CF moto dealer in Bears Lake uh, in Halifax, Freedom Cycle, where I bought this. Um, they are a CF moto dealer now, so that's good. Um, good to have a, a reputable uh, place to get them serviced. my belt slipping because it's wet. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So we're going to turn that camera off. And we're going to chill out while they're doing whatever they're doing. Yeah, last run, as you know, uh, you may have seen my summer run. It was a Friday night run with this uh, with the same group. It was so dusty. And uh, that, in turn, um, made a few people overheat. Uh, I guess the rads were getting chock-a-block full of dust. And, uh, yeah. So there was lots of this last summer's run. One guy in particular was... Uh, I feel sorry for him. He was uh, he was overheating left, right, and center. But that's pretty much all just keeping your rad clean. So I am gonna I'm gonna spray my rad out when I get home or tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. I'm just gonna chill out when I get home. I like the uh, I like the. Uh, 
the lights that Mike has. Uh oh, I'm rolling. There we go. Oh, here we go. We're good to go. As soon as I put it in neutral, they start moving. There's a bridge. So I decided I'm going to start doing something this summer. I'm going to start lake fishing. I used to lake fish when I was a kid, you know, fishing rod, hook and worm kind of thing with a bobber. But I'd like to take it up a level um, I honestly don't know what to get for what it's not gonna be it's not gonna be fly fishing that's for sure because that's I don't know I, I I don't think I have what it takes to become a fly fisherman I fish a lot of mackerel in the uh, in st. Margaret's Bay and that's that's like so easy to do you just walk up to the shore you get mackerel feathers which are three three hooks with feathers on them on on one line and you can dip it in the water and uh pull out three fish it's that easy although because of the mackerel have been so overfished by fishermen with nets <coughs> get lobster bait the recreational mackerel fishing is not what it used to be and you know people got to do what they got to do for their livelihood and I don't fault them for that but now the uh, the mackerel fisheries kind of kind of fucked up the way the cod fishery went so I'd like to try lake fishing so it would be trout and bass I guess so if anybody has any hints on what I should buy that's not going to break the bank, comment down below. I'd love to know. Because as G.I. Joe once said, knowing is half the battle. I think that was G.I. Joe. Oh, I got that ice cream headache again. Look at all the Christmas trees. Christmas trees, Christmas trees, Christmas trees. I'll see you in about a week. No, you're not allowed cutting stuff down back here. Crown land, you get your ass slapped for that. Probably your truck taken away from you. So, I will stick with no Christmas tree. Ooh, rocky. Next time they slow down, I'm going to put this back in two-wheel drive. I'm only going 40.
So these are very familiar roads back Mercy Bow Water. They all end up looking the same. Now that guy should have stopped next to that. I think somebody should have stopped there. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm getting hungry. All right, into two-wheel drive. Yeah, so I am going to publish this video in its entirety. Uh, gonna be a long run but at least you guys will be able to see what it's like in Nova Scotia in mid-December with a crew of people out enjoying a Saturday good times I'm thankful that there's a group like this Another spot. We've been up there before. Recording. <coughs> oh, it'll be nice. Get home, sit in front of the wood stove. That'll take the edge off. <laughs> Somebody back here in a truck. Smoking dope or making love, one of the two. We're hunting.
Yeah, you'd be surprised some of the shit we see back here. People taking their loved ones back for a little rendezvous back in the woods. Bumpy, bumpy. That's a sweet little spot there, too. I sort of know where I am, but I don't. And that's the beauty of ATVing. You always end up back home. Fogging up. There we go. I think the temperature is only one degree Celsius or could be zero degrees Celsius today. So that's 32 Fahrenheit. So it's chilly. I was originally wearing my green uh, neon green jacket, but I got halfway to the clubhouse. I was freezing. So I turned around and got this black thing and put it over top everything and I am snug as a bug in a rug. Intercom failed. Try again later. Okay, shut the fuck up. Recording. All right. Now this kind of shit is where I wouldn't want to be in a side by side. Because if you look in front, some of these uh, some of these buggies are hanging pretty low to the ground. Somebody burning railroad ties back there. Oh, I know where we are. We're coming out the... As you enter Mercy from 5A, there's a right-hand split that I usually take in the left-hand split. Right here is where I made the hour-long video of just the river going by. Uh, it's in 4K, looks really nice. Uh, check it out. It's good background, put it on and enjoy nature for an hour. Decompress if that's your thing. Intercom failed. Try again later. I swear, every time I touch the side of my helmet, something happens with this camera. So again, I do not recommend this Cena. I think it's a C something Evo. Takes good, uh, takes good video, but uh, if it's cold out, you get like one minute battery life. You have to have a, uh, 
you have to have a uh, auxiliary battery wired in. So where are we going? Okay, we're going back Mercy. All right. Round two. So looking at my YouTube analytics, uh, analytics are statistics that YouTube make based on my videos and views and where viewers are from and how old viewers are and what their sex is. And, you know, YouTube knows a lot about you. So of my 670 some or 80 some odd subscribers I'd like to thank every one of you um, poke a comment down below where you're from I know where a lot of the regulars are from because I keep in contact with them on Instagram and other uh, other social media but uh, if we haven't talked post down below where you're from I'd love to know where you're from where are you from? What you ride? Do you ride? If you don't ride, what you want to get? All that sort of fun stuff. Had to do that little whoop de woo. I was thinking of doing it. Guy in front of me did it. Because little whoop de woos are fun. Oh, it's cold. I often want to know what's down there. I think that's a dead end. We found a dead deer back there once. Some of the fun spots they've blocked off, which kind of sucks. We're stopping. What's going on? All 
right. Oh, this goes back, this goes up and around behind uh, 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 Hebley Mill Lake, where I spend a lot of time. <coughs> it's exhausting. Yeah, I'm absolutely not going to, uh, I'm not going to edit this video. I'm just going to post it raw so everybody gets to see the entire run. And I hope you all enjoy it because I really am enjoying this. Just nice to get out and get some fresh air. hiccups. <gasps> Excuse me. Sorry about that, folks. That's a cool river. I bet you I could get my camper back here. Because there's nothing I've seen so far that would stop it. I wouldn't want to beat the shit out of the bottom of my truck. Although it's one inch lifted stock uh, and it's got skid plates on the bottom which I've already hit it's nice to see the price of gas going down that's for sure every time you gotta feed the truck it doesn't cost 250 bucks
Going right down there is where I got, I think that went to uh, Hubley Mill Lake. Is that video I did, the little side video? God, I made so many videos back here. I can't even, they're all blended together. I think I'm at 60 some odd videos now, which is uh, a lot of time. And I would just like to reiterate that I'm not making these videos for clout. I'm not making them to be, I'm not making them to be YouTube famous. I'm doing them for me and me only. And if anybody else enjoys it, that's great. But I'm doing these for me so that, you know, 20, 30 years down the line, I want to know what I was doing when I was 51 years old. I'll be able to somehow see what it's all about. Yeah. I went down the wrong garden path when I first started this, you know, getting sucked in by shitty sponsors. Never, never, ever again will I sell out and advertise for free loot. And that's all I'm going to say on that. The content that you're seeing right now is real. It's a real person riding a real ATV in the real woods. So that's all I'm going to say about that as well. I just have a bad taste in my mouth from the whole sponsorship thing. I was doing content based on what they wanted me to do, what they wanted to see. And that is not what YouTube is all about. That's not what adventure riding, you know. It's the whole TikTokification of YouTube that is going to be its end. And I'm going to be one of those old farts doing it the old school way. And uh, I obviously get the views. I get the views and I get the subs, so I'm doing something right. And again, to me, subs don't matter. Views don't matter. What matters is that I'm making quality content that some people enjoy. And if, if other people enjoy it when I'm doing my own project for myself, hey, that's great. That's, a, that's, just, a, that's just a side benefit. But uh, turning my, turning my, my recreational ATVing life into a dog and pony show where I feel like I'm one of those monkeys on a chain grinding an organ like you see in the old cartoons no that shit ain't for me it may be for some people but I'll still be here doing this when you've moved on to the next fad. Yeah, I haven't been back here. I don't think I've been back here. Mike obviously has been back here. He's the uh, guy with the lights on his on his truck, or buggy, or SXS, as Mitch would say. Oh, we've been out for a bit. My thumb is getting tired. And I'm down to half a tank. 
42 kilometers in. I'm down to half a tank. And if this is like any of the other vehicles that I have, once you're at a half a tank, it's really, you're at like a quarter tank because it just drops like a rock. I'll sleep good tonight with all this fresh air in me. Yeah, this is rocky. Yes, boys, I'm getting hungry. Look at this uphill. I'm going to rip this once they're out of the way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Yeehaw. This is a hill climb machine. Loving it. Loving it. Wipe off the camera. This probably is a fucking dead battery by now. The, uh, the GoPro. I got another one in my pocket, but I don't want to stop and change it. Looking roots and rocks and zigging and zagging. Oh. That's my scarf. Stick that under my under my nuts there. There we go. God love her. Wife is like, you better wear a scarf. I never wear scarves, but I'm glad I did because my neck was nice and warm and now it's cold because I'm sitting on it. She's a good woman. No, I'm going to rephrase that. She's a good person. She's a really good person. Off the beaten path, there's a grow up in the middle of the path there. Hear the clickety clack under the buggy. Hands are getting stiff. Whoa, look, there's the bay right there. St. Margaret's Bay. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, yeah. You're right.
Recording. Okay, so we just had a rest stop here, and we are headed to Vinegar Lake, and then we are headed back to the clubhouse and get some grub, which I am cool with because I'm starving. Make sure that doesn't fall off. All right, here we go. And away we go. I thought that was my bike ticking. All those little sticks in the middle of the road. That's what's ticking. Vinegar Lake. I have never even heard of Vinegar Lake. So we're 46 kilometers in. I got enough gas, that's for sure. I gotta stop worrying. Look, somebody's maintained back here. There's gravel. Holy shit. It's incredible. Either that or it fell off of a gravel tree. Yeah, that Honda Pioneer 1000, that's pretty awesome.
The problem with this is I'll never remember to come back this way. My turn to wait. So this is, uh, I was second in line and I came to a, at a I came to a, uh, a crossroads, so I got to wait for uh, everybody but the yellow guy, apparently. So my SD card ran out of juice uh, on my helmet cam, so the trail footage getting here to uh, to our final destination of Vinegar Lake, which is right here. It's underneath the power lines. Oh, there's somebody over there having a piss. So yeah, these are all the buggies that, that made it. All right, so here we are back at the clubhouse and had a big feast, chili and everything else. So lots of desserts too. Um, sorry about that, but my uh, SD card camera got full on my helmet. So we had to cut off the, uh, the trip to Vinegar Lake at uh, a little bit early, but I think you had enough content for today. So thanks again, like, share, subscribe, Peace, love, ATV. Hey, so I forgot to mention, now that I'm home, I would like to give a shout out to my YouTube bros, Scotian Off-Road, 506 SXS and ATV, Scotian Off-Road again, and ATVing in NS. And this was brought to you by Brute Force Explorer Incorporated.